One of the most common problems that people are faced with is preventing dog aggression. And in this video, I'm going to give you a good example of one situation where it can get out of hand and how to nip it in the bud. Now, first of all, let me stress, nobody gets injured during this video. These are my two brown dogs jumping out, and this is Bex, who's a lovely young Rottweiler. She simply hasn't been socialized very much, so she's not sure what to do. And as you're going to see, when her confidence starts to grow, she starts to be a little bit silly, a little bit snappy. And that's something we've got to put uh, a stop to very early on. Here we go. So Bex isn't nervous. As you can see, she's quite happy sniffing, getting to know my dogs. It all starts off very well. We stay out of it. We stay very calm and relaxed. She's simply getting to know them. There's my dog. She's going underneath uh, Bex's head. If you watch carefully here, her head, she puts it underneath. She's submissive. She does, my little dog, my little brown dog there, Inca, doesn't want any trouble at all. She's being very careful, but saying to Bex, please stay away. But Bex keeps pushing it with my little dog. She doesn't pick up on her uh, body language, which is saying, please calm down. So we have to step in. Now, Inca's sort of trying to just calm the situation down. She's sort of playing, but watch this bit. That's not acceptable. That's one step away from a bite. So my little dog is trying to get Bex away from her because she knows she's trying to nip her. She's trying to calm the situation down. So my little dog Inca obviously needs a little bit of help. Somebody needs to step in and calm the situation down. That's my job. That's when you've got to step in and take control of the situation. Now, sometimes when dogs get a little bit too excited, you can simply calm the situation down by holding them under the collar. Things calm down a bit. My little dog's already shook herself there. That's her calming down. And sometimes this is all you need. But in this situation, it wasn't enough. We've had to go to the next step, which is putting a long line on dear Bex. And all that means is we're able to control the situation and calm her down a lot quicker because the chances are next time we wanted to come and calm down, she probably wouldn't come near us because um, she knows we're trying to calm her down. But with a long line on, you can stand on it, reel her in, and, uh, and just calm her down. And for a dog like this, who I would say is at about a level 6, 7, but starting to go into a level 8 out of 10, this is pretty much all you'll need to do to, to bring her back down a little bit so that she doesn't um, become too aggressive and uh, start bullying the other dogs. Another way to calm your dog down is to calmly walk them around on the lead until that energy drops down. And then when they've calmed down and you've stopped, changed direction, calm the dog down, then you can let them go. So here we go. You can see that lead allows me to, to calmly move her away if she gets a bit silly. She knows she's connected to me. She knows she's, uh, her behavior is being restricted. Uh, but, but already you can see she's a slightly different dog. She's slightly calmer. She's at what I would call a level probably five out of ten. She's actually not um, near the little dog anymore. She's she's near the big dog, Peanut, there. So already we've, we've prevented that whole escalation between her and my little dog. So in this situation, I would not let her off that line because if she starts to get carried away again with my little dog, it would be very hard to stop her if she didn't have the line attached. However, with the line attached, we can simply walk over, put an end to it, calm her down again and you just repeat that until she gets the hang of it that she's not allowed to get overly silly and she has to stay in that what I call zero to seven range rather than eight nine ten in fact we wanted to be a little bit calmer than that we wanted to be more around the level three four five the best news is that about six months later I bumped into the owner of this dog and he told me that she was just a different dog altogether however the key thing which I went through with him was how to be the pack leader. That's the thing which really calms the dog down. That's not a, a five minute video, but you can find out everything about it on the online dogtrainer.com.